Hey everyone, welcome back to another community vlog tour. This is where I make a video every single week showcasing a different community in the Edmonton area and getting explained the amenities, what it's like to live here, the type of homes, the real estate, price points, and so much more about the community here in the Edmonton area. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, my name is Nathan Lorenz. I am a local real estate agent here in the Edmonton area, helping you guys buy and sell your homes, big or small, or helping you guys with and with your questions, uh, anything, all things related to real estate here in Edmonton. Now, I'm in the community of Northeast Edmonton called Fraser. Uh, Fraser is one of those communities that is never was fully developed and, bit, and finished uh, when it was built in the 80s and 90s. And it's actually had consistent development uh, from that time period until now, where we're still developing and building new homes in this community. Now, Fraser is located um, just west of the Anthony Handy Drive, located between 144th and 153rd Avenue, uh, which is east of Victoria Trail. So that little section of um, Northeast Edmonton real estate is where Fraser is and where I'll be discussing the community today. Next up, let me get into and mention the parks and the green space that we have here in the Fraser community. Now, Fraser is not one of the largest communities that we have here in Edmonton and certainly not one of the largest ones that I have toured. So we actually only have one park and that is the Fraser Community League Park that is right next to the Fraser School, which I'm going to talk about next year. Now, in the Fraser Community the League Park, we have a beautiful playground next to me, tons of green space, a basketball court, soccer field, and the like. Now, as well, we do have some additional green space in forms of trails throughout the community. We have one trail that focuses on, which runs north to south, kind of in the middle of the community next to the park here as well. And then on the southeast side of the community towards the Fraser Ravine, which overlooks the North Saskatchewan River, we have some additional park, uh, sorry, additional trails in that area as well. Now, following that one trail actually is part of a longer trail system here in Edmonton, and that can go all the way east up towards the golf course and the quarry. So there is a quite a long uh, walking trail that leaves the community and heads out as well. So there's actually a lot of green space and walking trails available if that is something you guys are into here in the community. Now, let me talk a little bit about the schools and the education that we have to offer here in Fraser. Right behind me here is the only school we have in the community, Fraser School. That is going to be an elementary school here by the public school system. All of the other education levels as well as Catholic you will have to find outside of the community and just a little bit of a drive away depending on what you are looking for. Now on the junior high school side um, for the public school system you can find that about five minutes just to the west here in the next community or that's going to be John D. Brackle School. Um, that's going to be a junior um, high school as well. If you're looking for your full senior high school, that's going to be Emmy Lazur, um, right 10 minutes to the west of the community. Now, on the Catholic side of the education, you're going to have um, both the elementary and the junior high school about 5 to 10 minutes just southwest of here. Um, so it's not too terribly far away, um, but it's two different separate school locations um, to the southwest. Now, on the Catholic high school side, you're going to be about a 15 minute drive away, uh, which is Austin O'Brien School in Ottawa. That's across the uh, North Saskatchewan River, and it's a decent drive away if you're looking for that school. Alrighty, before I get into the pricing of homes here, next I want to talk a little bit about the amenities that we have available here in Fraser. Now, Fraser does not actually have a whole lot of local convenience shopping centers available um, within the community itself. We only have actually one convenience location, which is on Victoria Trail and 151st Avenue here. You'll find a car wash, gas station, after school care, and the local pub. Now, for any other shopping, you have to go to Clearview Village, which is just south in Bannerman or the corner of 137th Avenue and Victoria Trail as well. There you can find a Rexall, a uh, barbershop, uh, Sobeys, and more convenience stores there. You also have the Clareview Town Center and the Manning Drive Town Center. Both of those will have larger stores like Superstore, Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Staples, and your bigger box stores available. And that's all going to be five minutes to the west of Fraser. Alrighty, next up you guys, let me finally get into the pricing of the homes here in Fraser. 
So starting out on the low side of our listings here are going to be the apartment condominiums like normal. Now these here in Fraser are very affordable compared to like some of the other neighborhoods I have toured. Um, our lowest price listing actually ended up selling for $37,000. That was a one bedroom, one bathroom unit. Now they can range up into two and three bedroom condo units here in the community as well. Our highest price one ended up selling for $71,500. Again, that is not a huge gap and still very affordable here in the community. Keep in mind though, we do have one active listing currently for $115,000 right now. Now, next up on the price list we have here are the carriage style homes. The lowest price listing is still currently active for $119,000 and they sell all the way up to what we actually have our highest price listing still active for is $189,000. So anywhere between $119,000 and $189,000 are going to be our carriage style homes for sale um, and have sold in the past as well. Now we have the townhouses in the community. They are very similar to the care cell homes within prices as they are very affordable. The lowest one started out at $137,500 and I've seen them sell all the way up to $250,500. Our highest price listing is currently for $260,000 right here in the community. Now, the half duplexes are the other side of the equation. These are the ones that are actually do not have condo fees right here in this community. And so there is that bonus as well. Starting out at their lowest sold listing for $189,000, you can get a half duplex here in Fraser. They can go all the way up to $415,000. Uh, and that is actually for a brand new built one in 2022, um, as they are still building some of those out here in certain parts of the community. We do have one listed for $465,000 right now in the community. Uh, so that's going to be our highest price listing for a half duplex. Now let me discuss some of the single family homes that we have sold here within the last year in Fraser. Now there is a very large price gap for this um, home type here in the community and it really explains what has happened with the last 40 years where we've had home developments at different stages. So we have many different types of homes available in the community. The lowest price one sold for $240,000. That was a two bedroom, two bathroom home, barely over 800 square feet. Now, I will mention the median home price for a single family is going to be $414,000 right here in the community. Our highest price listing ended up selling for $765,000. That is a 2,500 square foot home, four bedrooms and four bathrooms, also one of the new built homes in the community. Our mansion that is actually still listed for sale right now is for $1.785 million. That is a three-story home over 3,700 square feet of above grade living space, four bedrooms, and four and a half bathrooms. So quite a widespread there within the single family homes in Fraser. Now, let me go check out a few homes with you guys. Now, right next to me here, we have a townhouse listed for $225,000. That's gonna be a three bedroom, one and a half bathroom unit here with all with a garage right here. So that is a pretty good deal considering condo fees are also quite low, right under $400. So if you're looking for a cheap little townhouse for a great price, this might be the one up behind you me. Now, lastly on the home tour is gonna be this home listed for behind me for $499,000 pretty good deal for a three bedroom two and a half bathroom home a little over 1700 square feet not many places in edmonton that you could find a newer home for under five hundred thousand dollars like that one now this is going to wrap up my home tour here for the fraser neighborhood um i'm glad to have you guys around and take a quick look around if you guys have any other questions regarding the neighborhood or want to see another neighborhood in edmonton please comment down below and i'll be happy to feature that one next until next time, look forward to seeing you guys then.